Swagger. So today, my boyfriend and I will be filming some spicy content for my. Un okay, I'm not being rude, and this is not to be disrespectful to this girl in any single way. This is not coming at her at all, but I'm offended because I am a 29 year professional in a respectable job. I own my own place. I pay my own bills. I pay my own way. I have only had two boyfriends in my lifetime, and the one lasted six years. The other one lasted three years. I don't even post my ankles, much less my thighs, much less my ass on social media. All you get in is head and shoulders, like the shampoo. All you get in is a mugshot. Bitch, I never got pregnant, dropped out of school, had an abortion, joined the gang. If you was to look on social media right now, you will find nothing. You're not going to find news. You're not going to find me fighting people online. You're not going to find me doing none of that. The most you'll see me doing is cracking some goddamn jokes. And I'm single. Okay. Okay. Apparently this young lady is confused or concerned or shocked as to why she's single and apparently the sex worker the example she used in the beginning um, is in a relationship and it got me thinking about incels the whole concept of the involuntary celibate person and you know typically we talk about incels as it refers to men. But apparently there's something called fem cells, which are female incels. The unique difference about it is whereas incels might have to pay to get, you know, sex, fem cells have access to sex, but they don't have the access they would like to relationships. And I think this is such an important part of the conversation because I think we often over fixate on men's shortcomings, but we don't really address women's shortcomings. And if I'm being fair, women don't address their own shortcomings and they don't address their fellow women's shortcomings. And I think that's why you have a lot of women who have this expectation of certain outcomes without considering in what ways that they fall short of the outcomes expectations of them, right? So in this case, she's saying, you know, she's not an online whore and she's covered up and she has no dirt and all good things, all things that we talk about are important for a future wife, a future mother, a future grandmother and the whole nine. However, just like with men, relationship is not just about box checking. It's about First of all, checking the right boxes, because you have to be in tune with what um, the thing or the person you want wants from you. And then number two, it's about some of those intangibles, right? Kind of we, we talk about what do you bring to the table? A lot of uh, the expectations from both sides are intangibles. So what's your personality like? What's your disposition? Are you um, good to be around? You know, what's the energy that you leave people with? And what I find with certain women in particular who are single and in this situation, unsure or unclear as to why they're single because they're so great and they're God's gift to everything. Um, I find that, number one, there's a narcissistic element to their personality that runs people off. And there's that entitlement, right? Like even in her speech, there's an entitlement in her voice. I am X, Y, and Z, so I deserve X, Y, and Z. And it's clear when we talk about like, quote unquote, nice guys or incel men, who have the expectation that they're owed sex or they're owed female attention because they're in good shape or because they make a certain amount of money or because they're this or because they're that. And we know that that's not the case. That's not how women work. That's not how people work. It might get you in the door, but it's not going to keep you there. Unfortunately, it seems like some of our sisters miss that. And again, going back to that narcissistic entitlement, I am not the problem. I don't have necessarily anything else to fix about myself. These quote unquote high value men should want me. I should already be married. I should already be in a relationship. Often when you spend more than 10, 15 minutes around these types of women, it's clear why. Often they have very, very dry personalities. Often they have princess syndrome. Often they talk to people as if they're beneath them simply because they might be more educated or just as educated or or they come from a certain background. And again, they might have never been confronted with these truths, but this is what runs people off. And particularly the, the, the caliber of man, in this case, that these types of women feel that they are deserving of. Self-reflection, self-awareness. We talk about self-work, but often we don't talk about self-awareness. And I'm encouraging our sisters, our brothers too. First of all, learn about the, the psychology of what you want 
If you're a woman, learn about male psychology. Not the men that you, not men as you would wish they were, but men as they are. And men learn female psychology, not the fairy tale that you made up in your mind about who women are, but the reality. And then consider the ways that your personality, your disposition lends you to companionship with what you want or keeps you in the situation and the outcomes that you have. If you want to see more of this, please click that like button. It helps tremendously. And share this to somebody you think would gain value from the message. And hit that subscribe button as well. Peace out, y'all.